This is not like the perfect like Crusaders pinup picture right there, like the pose. The leg looks like the timid, uh, timid female model from the 60s. <laughs> yeah. With the Coke bottle. Yep. Tower of Latria is one of my favorite places. An old man took revenge on the queen by locking her family in a prison with inhuman guards. That's correct. All that escapes the place are the prisoners' cries. Yeah. Wow. It's supposed to be called the Prison of Hope, but there's no hope. Not like Star Wars. This place is very claustrophobic. Oh, good. Yep. The perfect place for great weapons. Mm -hmm. But you'll find about three sets of armor in this first world. Uh, you'll also find one of the most disliked enemies in the entire game. So have fun with that. You got a nickel. But it's locked. Dude. This is a prison, Ryan. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> yup. Damn. Mind flares, Ryan. Mind flares. Wow. They're they're very good at incapacitating you. They got the spike chair for the people who stay paralyzed. They got the soup. The green the soup. The soup. The green soup. Mm. Soup. Please help me. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's fucking Rydell. You'll hear Rydell if in this in this wing for pretty much ever unless you do his events and his events are really stupid and his storyline isn't worth it at all. It's also fun hearing him groan and yell. Damn, you are one sadistic person. He's annoying. Always wanting people to suffer and be miserable. He's sad. fucking annoying, and the only thing he has is a good staff, which does not quite suit your build, and the staff move set in this game is not good. I don't think any of like the pole arm staff shaped <laughs> weapons in any Souls game was ever good. Like uh like the Lucerne or whatever, you know, how the Halberd move set. That pole yeah. arm. I hate it. Cause it's like, how do you use it? You go. <laughs> you like thump it on the ground in front of you clumsily and it's like that's an attack i don't like it it's not it's not swiggity swoot sliding like you know the weapon karate you do in surge that shit's awesome that shit feels good i did see that the uh the clumsy attacks the one-handed attacks where your guy looks like he's staggering mm -hmm. um you can't actually score a double hit with them it still looks stupid mm -hmm. you know you can't cure that Unless you make it look cool, and that's what I want to do. I want to feel cool in these games. It is true. He's just hanging out. <laughs> you not. And then he goes all, yeah, yeah, you'll be good. You made it through world two and four, so you're probably leveled up enough that they're not going to be an issue. Good. The red mind flares, though. Is this guy friendly or something? No, he's just busy. Is he doing what? Praying. Praying to Jesus! <laughs> this place is very cool because, first off, the prison part of it is just so huge, and then the second part is big, but it's not long. I bet invasions were fun here. What's that? What's going on there? He's coming. Just let him. Just let him come. Just let him walk up to you. He's here to tell you the good word. That's it. That's it, Ryan. He's here to tell you the good. <laughs> uh oh. It's a. It's the chamber. The chamber of secret. Oh, right. <laughs> you remember these? So, some of these have an item, and some of them just fuck you up. Mm -hmm. Well, this one has blood right outside of it, so I'm gonna bet it's gonna hurt me. But I'll try it. Nice. I also love that it makes a sound effect where it's just like... Uh, this is where people really started to realize Miyazaki is inspired by Berserk. No, it's locked, Ryan. You don't got no key. One of my favorite enemies ever. Not the wall men, and not the stabber men, the jug men. <laughs> <laughs> That's their job. Wow. Be in the jug. That's one. That one's got a dead rat. Oh, well, that's a trustworthy one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I think both of these two are fine. I'm pretty sure that was the only bad one. Gotta love them sound effects. Oh. Oh, uh, armors. Yeah, black. It's thief ninja stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spooky. That's like a classic uh, Nickelodeon goosebump sound right there. I guess. Uh, I love it. This place is great. And I believe the merchant is over here. Right here. Is it? 
She looks so fucking out of place. Yeah. She's just like, I shouldn't ah, Well, me and all of my money didn't hear you coming. Do, do you have more money for my collection of money? I'm wearing my money mask. I have my box of money. My rug made of money. There were many others trapped here. Mm. But they went mad and ventured above. They didn't trust my money. They didn't trust their money. Redemption. I took their money. Yeah, no, the she is. banished her depraved old husband from the land. Was their husband? Oh. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. Right. They pillaged great latrine. I know who he is. Land of the learned. And locked us in this dungeon. And the Since well. then, yes. they've been feeding off our souls. That's such a Famine strange thing. Feeding over. off of we our love. souls. Like, it's just them. common knowledge that everybody possesses souls. Yeah, she's pretty much just a pointless NPC. With money! She does have some big cases of money. Oh, there. yeah. I just I just love her because she, she's just here. She's just fucking here. And she just sings and nobody bothers her. And she just sits there with her piles of money and sings and trades. <laughs> it's so weird. I sing to my money. <laughs> You're not even halfway through the level. Jesus. Or well, this is pretty repetitive. Oh yeah. Uh, I believe there. These are all good, and the one is bad. So they let the prisoners climb up the tower. What? Is that what I'm getting from this? I have no idea what you're talking about. What Is that mean? why they call it the Tower of Hope? Because once they lock people in here, they're like, Ah, yeah, if you don't like where you are, you can get redemption at the top of the tower. How are, they, then... how are they climbing it? What do you mean? Well, the lady that uh, was selling stuff, she was talking about how climbing up the tower would give them redemption and whatnot. Oh, uh, it's because there's a very high point where this, this, this king... Who is who's decked out in golden garb? That that's where he is. Help me, please. So here's Rydell. Damn. Yep. He's dead. Cause the key to get him is up in like three two. And would you have any desire to come back through here to get him out? <laughs> would you want to come back through this fucking prison, winding shit? I mean, it's not challenging. No. Because you cleared two fucking- you beat- you killed two archdemons already. Yeah. You're leveled up plenty. Yeah, you're on the first floor, you're pretty much clear of all of the prison stuff. This is the last area. Oh. Yep. There's the berserk enemy. Oh, no, this is where the fluted armor is, my bad. The fuck was that? I don't know. I'll have to take a look. What? He shoots magic. He's invisible? No, it's- it's not rendering him right now. Oh. What uh, the fuck? <laughs> this and Artorius are straight pulled from the pages of Berserk. It's fucking great. You're well you're well past this stage as far as, you know, level goes. So. Oh, lots of jar bros. Oh yeah, dude, the jug man! Getting a jug on! <clears throat> Stuff over here. These are all tiny little single cells. Unless you're OCD, don't open them. Unless you see an I nope. Unless you're OCD, don't open them unless you see an item. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. Because look how long it takes to fucking open them. So weird. Why do they have completely empty ones? It's it's probably one of those things where it's like, if you're going to have them... Yeah, he's he's your friend. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. He's just trying to... All right, you. come on, man. It's, it's more a matter of, you know, if you're going to have a symmetrical prison with cells, you might as well make them openable. Because if you just make them unopenable, people are going to wonder, well, what's in it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Push him. Friend. Push him. Oh, yeah. Friend, please. Don't make me do what I don't want to. Don't make me put you back in the jug. <laughs> <laughs> they like that, though. I don't know if they do. <laughs> I have to wonder what's in the jug. Uh, on Pure Black World Tendency, there is normally a mind flare to your left out here. Oh! The world's toughest obstacle! Oh! The the arrow thing. The, the cleric that shoots arrows out of its entire body. What? You get to, you get to beat the... You get to fight the... You get to beat the arrow thing. How do you defeat it, Ryan? How do you win? Probably shield. Okay. But you did just pick up a key. So what do you think the odds are? Yeah, that's not the way. What do you think What do you think the odds are that since you just picked up a key, you just leave? 
Oh. <laughs> I think it is actually really possible if you have, like, the brushwood shield, you could just walk up and then turn it off. But with this key, you just walk around. Do I go this way? Nope. You head back the way you came. Fuck, I don't remember <laughs> where that is. Uh, could you imagine playing this when I first came out? <laughs> yes. There's people who probably fucking shot themselves. <laughs> no, I would have. I would have enjoyed it. I only played it. I mean, a few years after it came out. Uh, yep. Here. So you remember those two little hallways? Jesus. Yep. You're on your way, Ryan. You're on your God. way. God. <laughs> Isn't the Tower of Lachi a great, Ryan? I don't want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> Here comes the paralytic. Oh, he. Well, he's just gonna. Just gonna get to give you real start talking to him, Mister. <laughs> It is like the angry mom walk. Like, oh, oh yeah. just wait till they get a hold of that little Jimmy. You've pretty much fought everything that's challenging in this level. All that's left is... You can like only imagine how long an invasion would last here. <laughs> Especially if the person was doing like 100% clear of the place. Oh, yeah. I'm losing brain capacity by the second. Oh, I, I can tell. Is coming right out of my fucking brain. Uh, I get think... Get killed by like 37 mind flayers probably. Nah, dude, there's nothing here. Nothing? No. There's stairs here. There's stairs. That's it. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I believe you wanted to go the other way. Er. Oh. Oh, yeah, you did want to go the other way. What a thrill. <laughs> really? Yep, keep going. There. You did it, Ryan. You beat the device. Ooh. Got him. These two upper areas are basically just long walks that way to above the boss with a bunch of loot. Uh, that side is so that the boss isn't hard mode. And then straight ahead is an invisible man and the, and the boss. An invisible man. Uh, all I'm doing is comparing the fighting in this to the fighting in Surge. <laughs> like, Jesus. These people are fucking pathetic. Aww. Ooh. You gotta put on the ring. I, I have a feeling you're not gonna be fighting the boss tonight, so... No, I'll never make it. Wait, what? Uh, Starts here? No. Oh, okay. It's just being thematic. Oh, that is pretty <laughs> cool. I'm okay with that. Gotta cut this one here, because Ryan's got sleepies, and, uh, you know, he's just... He needs a new chair. I do. You need a new fucking chair. Or I need a better setup. I think the new chair is gonna be cheaper and come faster. Yeah, probably. Unless somebody gets evicted. Uh... I don't see a new setup coming. Unless I look around the room and think about it. Boston, new, the new apartment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 